Hello, my name is Jane Christian, and I'm president of the Board of Directors of SOAR, which stands for Social Opportunities and Active Recreation. We are an organization whose focus is to provide enriching and engaging opportunities for individuals with developmental disabilities in Glen and McIntosh counties. Here with me today are members of the SOAR team, and they are going to introduce themselves to you as well. Hi, my name is Bev Latvella. I'm a CPA and I serve as the treasurer for SOAR. Hi, my name is Allie Pinkson and I'm a nationally certified therapeutic recreation specialist. And I am the program coordinator of the Adult Health and Wellness Program. My name is Rhonda Diggs and I'm the program coordinator for Special Olympics. First, we are going to tell you about SOAR's organizational structure and its funding sources, and then we'll drill down to discuss the programs for which we are requesting funding. SOAR's vision is that citizens with developmental disabilities will have access to enriching and engaging activities within the community, much like their non-disabled peers. This vision is the driving force for desired outcomes for SOAR's two programs. SOAR's mission is to link citizens with disabilities to community partners, enriching the lives of all. This reflects SOAR's belief in the importance of inclusion of its participants with non-disabled peers and the subsequent positive impact on all. SOAR consists of two programs, which allow Glen and McIntosh counties, citizens with developmental disabilities, increased engagement in the community. The Special Sports Support Program partners with Special Olympics Coastal Georgia by SOAR's employment of an activities coordinator whose primary responsibility is to oversee every aspect of the local Special Olympics program. Additionally, the Special Sports Support Program offers summer camps that provide specialized instruction for skills, such as biking and swimming. SOAR recently expanded its swim program by providing sessions year-round. The Adult Health and Wellness Program provides activities three days per week for adults with developmental disabilities. Both year-round programs are overseen by part-time coordinators. SOAR Swimming Program is coordinated by five certified adaptive aquatics instructors. The success of both programs relies on the involvement of our dedicated volunteers. SOAR was founded in 2015 with the simple goal of creating a local entity that could employ a local Special Olympics coordinator. Community leaders felt we needed to expand the local Special Olympics program and knew that it couldn't happen without having a paid coordinator. No entity in the community was willing to employ such a person. Thus, SOAR was created for this purpose. That goal was achieved quickly and it didn't take long for SOAR's focus to blossom. You'll be hearing more about SOAR's two programs in a minute but before turning it over to our two coordinators, I want to mention a bit about the agency's strengths. SOAR's board of directors consists of retired professionals who work hard to implement best practices in all aspects of the organization. The board collectively works in the capacity of executive director to oversee and fund its two programs. SOAR is a prime example of having a working board. SOAR consistently uses data to assess the needs and progress of its programs. Impact of programming is assessed using surveys and pre and post skill assessments. These results are used to drive future programming. SOAR believes in the power of continuous improvement. During 2018, SOAR conducted a self-assessment which resulted in a revised strategic plan and a streamlined structure for committee effectiveness. The self-assessment reflected the need for more hands to do SOAR's work, which resulted in growth of volunteers to serve on committees and six additional staff members to implement programs. Now, Bev Latvala, our treasurer, will summarize SOAR's funding sources 
And then, along with our two coordinators, we'll introduce you to our programs. In addition to United Way, SOAR is funded by a variety of sources, including other competitive grants from the Communities of Coastal Georgia Foundation, Easter Seals, Hello Goodbye, Christ Church, Lord of Life Lutheran Church, and St. Simon's Rotary. Other funding sources include the Davis Love Foundation, the Glenn County Board of Commissioners, and the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities. SOAR also receives funding from local entities, such as the Brunswick Glenn Council on Disabilities, the Southeast Georgia Health System, civic clubs, and private donors. As Jane stated earlier, the Special Sports Support Program under SOAR was created in 2015 to have a local entity employ a coordinator for the local Special Olympics program. Early on, we were positioned to be able to hire Rhonda Diggs as our activities coordinator. Her primary responsibility is to oversee Special Olympics Coastal Georgia, and we are requesting $5,000 for her salary. Now, Rhonda's going to talk more about the program. Special Olympics serves 591 youth and adult athletes in Glenn and McIntosh counties. It is a year-round program that serves athletes through weekly practices and participation in local, regional, and state competitions. We have invested time and resources into restructuring the program to recruit more athletes and to expand opportunities for participation. Through collaboration with the local school systems, we have been able to resurrect a Special Olympics program for school-age athletes. Additionally, we have restructured the entire program in order to provide more local opportunities for participation for those athletes that are unable to travel to state games. We have added new sports to our programs and, have and now have teams that participate in the following sports, tennis, basketball, bowling, track and field, table tennis, flag football, swimming, golf, and bocce. We also provide customized events for Morning Star students. Every spring, we collaborate with Morning Star to host a field day during the week of their spring break. We also host a bowling event exclusively for those students during the fall. Our newest goal for expansion is to implement the Young Athletes Program at Leaps and Bounds. It is an innovative sports program offered by Special Olympics for children ages two to seven with dis developmental disabilities. It is designed to introduce them into the world of sports. The benefits to this program have been proven worldwide. First and foremost, these activities help the children improve physically, cognitively, and socially. This program also raises awareness of the Special Olympics program and serves as an introduction to athletes and their families. As you can see, SOAR has accomplished a lot since becoming established just over three years ago. But that's not all. For the past three summers, SOAR has hosted week-long summer camps that focus on essential skills like biking and swimming for youth and adults. In 2016, SOAR hosted the I Can Bike program. I Can Bike Camp. The goal of the camp is to teach folks with disabilities how to ride a traditional two-wheel bicycle using adapted equipment and specialized instruction. By the end of the week, 87% of the 30 participants were able to ride independently. This was a community-wide collaborative effort that involved over 75 volunteers who came out to support the, this effort, either behind the scenes or on the front lines. Every participant was able to go home with a custom-fitted bike. We were so proud of the success of I Can Bike that for the past two summers, we hosted a swim camp at the YMCA. The goal of the program is to teach water safety and swimming skills. We felt strongly that in a coastal community such as ours, all youth should acquire swimming skills not only for enjoyment, but for safety. According to the National Autism Association, 
accidental drowning accounted for approximately 90% of total U.S. reported deaths in children under the age of 14 with an autism spectrum disorder. The SOAR Summer Swim Camp is now an annual event and we have expanded our swim program by offering six week sessions in the fall, winter, and spring to continue to perfect skills of past participants and to introduce swimming to new folks. This year round swim program and summer camp are taught by SOAR's five adaptive aquatics instructors. Additionally, through the swim program, we have been able to expand our Special Olympics swim team and look forward to having them show off their skills in Atlanta this summer at the State Games. SOAR's brand, Together We Soar, summarizes its belief in the power of collaboration. SOAR's relationship with Special Olympics Coastal Georgia is a great example of how two agencies can pool human and financial resources to benefit their shared participants. Another effective example of collaboration is SOAR's relationship with Morningstar. In addition to the special events that we provide for their unique population, SOAR trained Morningstar's PE teacher as an adaptive aquatics instructor. She has been able to take her skills back to Morningstar to provide swimming lessons for their students using their on-campus pool. And as mentioned earlier, we work collaboratively with the local school systems to plan local events for school-aged athletes. Finally, a memorandum of understanding with the Glenn County Board of Commissioners outlines their financial contribution in exchange for SOAR's oversight of the Special Olympics program. In October of 2018, SOAR expanded its volunteer-run Adult Enrichment Program by launching its Adult Health and Wellness Program. We were fortunate to hire Allie Pinson to coordinate this program for us. Allie is a certified therapeutic recreational specialist, and with her background and training, she has been able to take SOAR's vision for this program and make it a reality. We are requesting $15,000 for her salary. Early in its development, SOAR realized that the population we serve is in need of much more than athletic opportunities. We had been hearing about this need from parents and educators, but felt we needed some data to back up our hunches. So we conducted a community study and found that very little is available in coastal Georgia in the way of opportunities for adults with developmental disabilities. And those that are available are limited to a small segment of the eligible population. We also found that many other communities throughout Georgia and the U.S. have community centers where adults have free, ongoing, organized programs. We followed this up with a survey to local parents and caregivers to assess the need, and the response overwhelmingly indicated their concern over the lack of opportunities for the adults in their care. SOAR continued to do its homework and found that there is extensive research documenting the need for physical activity to promote healthy lifestyles for adults with developmental disabilities. This population has higher than average rates of cardiovascular disorders, higher than average rates of obesity, and higher than average rates of high cholesterol compared to their non-disabled peers. Additionally, this population tends to be socially isolated due to limited opportunities for meaningful activities social connections, and friendships. This lack of a sense of belonging often leads to diminished mental health. The results of this needs assessment sparked SOAR's transition from a volunteer-run program for adults to the health and wellness program for which we are requesting funding. Now, Allie Pinson is going to outline this program for you. The Adult Health and Wellness Program focuses on fitness and strength training and offers sessions three days a week. Sessions center around thematic units that combine physical activities with cooking, art, music, and dance. Additional focuses is on socialization, problem solving, increasing communication, and independence. It is a therapeutic, data-driven program that uses the API process of assessing, planning, implementing, and evaluation. 
Additionally, we've established a service learning partnership with the Health and Nursing Department at the College of Coastal Georgia. Students from these classes are involved in the health and wellness program, designing lessons that focus on healthy living and giving our participants the opportunity to interact with non-disabled peers. Monthly activities include opportunities to give back to the community, such as by tending Mallory Park through our partnership with Keep Golden Isles Beautiful. All participants in the health and wellness program are able to attend all other activities that SOAR sponsors, such as its year-long swimming program, social activities such as dances, fishing trips, an annual putt-putt tournament, and the attendance to our group at Night to Shine, which is an annual prom that the Tim Tebow Foundation sponsors. Additionally, enrollees are encouraged to participate in everything that our Growing Special Olympics program has to offer. We are observing the positive impact that the health and wellness program has on its participants. Thanks to our focus on fitness, we are seeing participants slimming down and building endurance. Friendships are being built and parents are reporting that their adult children are enthusiastic to get out of the house to attend SOAR's activities. In summary, SOAR is requesting funding for its two programs, which allow Glenn and McIntosh County citizens with developmental disabilities increased engagement in the community. The goal of the Special Sports Support Program is to partner with Special Olympics Coastal Georgia by employing an activities coordinator to oversee every aspect of the local Special Olympics program. Additionally, this program provides summer camps and a year-long swim program. SOAR's Adult Health and Wellness Program provides opportunities for engagement for an often forgotten segment of our local community adults with developmental disabilities. This therapeutic data-driven program provides sessions three days per week that focus on healthy living, increased communication, socialization, and increased independence. Before closing, we want to share a few nuggets that illustrate the positive impact that SOAR's programs have on participants, parents, and volunteers. For example, after the I Can Bike Camp, one parent wrote, Nathan is now able to go outside and ride his bike with his friends and with our family. We could never do this before. Our lives have changed. Another young adult participant is now able to independently transport himself to his job on his bicycle. A recent Glen Academy graduate has chosen special education as her career choice after her volunteer work with the SOAR swim program. Over 40 swimmers are gaining the ability to be safe in and near water and now have the skills to be included with family and friends in activities at the beach and pool. We even had one mother of a young athlete joke that she now knows what it's like to be a soccer mom since her son has become involved in the swimming program and other sports through Special Olympics. We recognize the importance of our primary goal, which is to improve the health of those we serve through a preventative approach utilizing exercise, nutrition education, and therapeutic recreation. We also know that being meaningfully engaged outside the home has a powerful impact on the health and well-being of the individuals we serve. We'll close by illustrating this impact by highlighting observations of one SOAR member that participates in all of our programs. Meet Janet. When she first started attending the program, this 30-something lady often wore a blank looking face with little affect, slumped shoulders, and offered little communication. She was hesitant to leave her parents for activities and they were hesitant to leave her. Fast forward to now, her whole demeanor has changed. She lights up when she sees her friends at the health and wellness program. She is smiling and communicating. She insisted that her family change their vacation schedule so that she could attend each day of the summer swim camp. She asked her parents to leave when they drop her off. 
and for the first time, she spent a weekend away from her family to attend the Masters Bowling Competition. Upon returning from the weekend trip, she told her mom that she had the best time ever. She took to Facebook to count down the number of days until the night to shine prom and also to announce her receipt of a gold medal at the state Special Olympics Games. The impact of a simple program like ours goes well beyond losing a few pounds and making healthy food choices. It translates to an improved quality of life through engagement, increased independence, and a rise in self-esteem. SOAR is proud of the work it has done to positively impact local citizens with developmental disabilities. We hope that others in the community will help us continue to do our work. We truly believe that together we soar. We want to thank you for your time and attention as we shared information about SOAR and its programs. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.